So let's talk about my failed pork rosé. So if you watch the video, it's like the second video I posted recently, I messed up. When I added the evaporated milk, not heavy cream, the color of the evaporated milk and the tomato sauce, they just didn't combine. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Those two colors usually combine to make orange. Instead, it came a red and white. To me, like it looked broken. But real quick, I'm just trying to talk about it. I'm no food scientist. I just did a lot of research. I don't have my books with me to help me even more with this to prove what I'm saying is right just experience and a couple of sources milk is an emulsion of water and fat milk consists of water fat protein carbs or sugars casein and whey maybe even more but definitely casein and whey overall what i think is my milk curdled how does milk curdle if the ph levels of the milk drop or the milk becomes acidic the proteins have stronger attraction to each other and they start to clump those protein clumps are pretty much the curds that you get from making cheese if you bring milk up to 180 degrees fahrenheit that same thing starts to happen as well for me in that situation of the pasta i think that happened so if you took a spoonful of my sauce it's like this hard it's like hard sediment that's what it felt like and that's not that's not supposed to happen it's not supposed to be in your rosary any cream sauce that's not supposed to happen and that that definitely was before the cheese why do i think it curdled one thing my tomato sauce was is definitely was over 180 just based on all just going based off its simmer second thing is tomatoes are more sick than milk third thing i based off biochem and it's that I slowly streamed it in. Keep in mind, this has happened to me a couple of times. But let me explain the biochem part. This is a question for the whole class. The professor presented it. I don't remember it fully. In what situation will milk curdle? One with Coca-Cola in, in a glass cup, and you pour the milk in. The other, the opposite. Coca-Cola is acidic, just going by the carbonation and everything like that. Also looking it up. You want to know what the answer was? Milk being poured into a cup of Coca-Cola. Why? Milk curdles at acidic environments, right? How you were supposed to think about this is in extreme senses. You have one cup of Coca-Cola, right? And you have a few drops of milk. Every drop is going to get completely overwhelmed by the acidity of it so it's gonna start to curdle very fast that's why i think the milk in that video curdled in general i had a lot of tomato sauce i didn't reduce it that much in the video and i slowly streamed it in overwhelming the milk you might be wondering why heavy cream doesn't curdle that easily like you can boil heavy cream it's because it's fat content evaporated milk does not have a high fat content here's the way i prevented or slowed down the curdling process all right, so I just added the milk. I forgot to record it. Reduce my tomato sauce like 50%. Decent amount. Notice that it's barely hot. If it gets to a bare simmer, that's fine. Just try to keep it as low as possible. It takes out the temperature issue and the high acidity volume. I also just dump the milk in. If you look at my failed video, you can tell this looks way different. Yeah, so that pretty much solves all your issues. Hopefully that helps for people who want to make lighter sauces. Definitely with evaporated milk. I don't always like using heavy cream because a fourth a cup, 200 cows. Sometimes I care, sometimes I don't. But that being in the back of my mind is like, no, that's too much to eat right through. And you're usually adding a cup. Dumping all the milk stops it from being overwhelmed. Reducing the tomato stops the evaporated milk from being overwhelmed by acidity. Keeping the temperature low stops it from curdling. Just gonna add the cheese, which is Parmesan. Loosen with a little bit of pasta water. Nice and creamy, emulsified. Doesn't look curdled at all. But I'll see you guys. I'm gonna go.